What's up, gang? It's your boy, Sag, here, coming at you with another challenge. Today, we see if we can beat Super Auto Pets with only strawberry units. I thought this would be really fun since there's easily enough strawberry pets to do it, and I take it one step further and do it hardcore. So the rules I follow are that I'm only allowed to buy pets that affect strawberry units, which means no buy selling anything else. I do, however, allow myself to buy any food, but I don't think I really buy any of it anyways. I do this hardcore because I felt like there was enough strawberry scalers to pull it off. Also, this was done in Expansion Pack 2. So, I'll be going over all of the pets that I'm able to use for this. For Tier 1, we have Kiwi and Hummingbird. Having Tier 1s that I can use are paramount to any challenge run, and these two are very good. For Tier 2, there's Dove and Atlantic Puffin. Dove is borderline useless, but Puffin will be fantastic when we have a full team of berries. For Tier 3, we have Cassowary, which is our first decent scaler, and getting it early will be very important. For Tier 4, there's Pelican, an absolute unit, and a direct upgrade from Hummingbird. Tier 5 is Shoebill, the bread and butter of the whole operation, and also why I decided to go hardcore. I'll be buying a lot of strawberries already, so Shoebill is an amazing scaler for this. And last but certainly not least, we have Velociraptor for Tier 6. If we can get it to level 2 or 3, then we basically can't lose as Coconut is extremely strong and most of our units will be quite large. My only real plan was to try and get as many strawberry pets as early as I could, freeze those strawberries, and put them on as many good ones as I find as I go through the turns. Overall, this challenge wasn't too difficult and it only took me around 5 attempts. Strawberry units are very powerful as they've been buffed up a bit, but to be able to force them like this is next level. So here we have not lost too many turns, but we are already on five hearts on turn six, which isn't too bad, but we have to keep forcing these strawberry units out. Um, the game is actually relatively short for how long it goes. I think we go up to turn 15 or 16, if I remember correctly. Uh, however, when basically all we do is roll for strawberry pets, you can see how the turns go very quickly. There is not a lot of thinking. It's just basically see strawberry unit, buy strawberry unit, unless it's a dove. Even though we do have one dove, we, you know, when there's three gold left and you see a dove on board, it's probably good enough if you have two strawberry units. So I was really shitting on it earlier, but... You know, it, it can work out. Like, for there, it worked out for us very well. We needed that one extra health to be able to, to take those out. So, it did its job, I'd say, and we can get it out of there. Uh, as you can see, we've been freezing basically every strawberry we find in the shop. It really helps uh, buff up the puffin. Not so much cassowary. Max, you only need three strawberries for it to pop off. But with puffin, with each strawberry that you get, the more damage it does. Um, I was debating whether or not to put it on to Hummingbird, actually, but I decided um, I probably needed to, or I might just straight up lose. And on this turn, I combine into a cheeky um, level 2 Pelican. I was really hoping for Velociraptor. Didn't get it, unfortunately, so I'm uh, expecting a loss here quite heavily. However, Strawberry units are pretty damn good. As you can see, our cassowary is very big, so it's just enough to be able to get through that turn, which is basically the deciding factor on winning and losing. Some of these, like, last second one health buffs that I get are just enough to be able to, to pull through here for me. And I'm quite certain that I don't buy a single piece of food other than strawberry, so it's easily doable. Uh, one thing to note is actually when you do get a Velociraptor, because you will have to get a Velociraptor, it's the probably the only way to do this, I think. Um, you don't want, you don't really want strawberries on your smallest units. However, for the early game, you have to have them on all of your units, or at least most of them, for Puffin to actually do some decent damage. So here I was debating quite heavily whether to get Velociraptor in, but, you know, of course you have to get it in. It's just replace it for what. And, of course, Hummingbird, you don't need it anymore if you have Pelican. Pelican is just a better Hummingbird. 
and we do want a strawberry the velociraptor as it will not give itself coconut so that's very good Stra uh, shoebill can buff up everything and puffin still gets the benefit from that however now that we do have velociraptor if it hits anything that isn't cassowary then it kind of sucks as you can see here we lose because of it and that puts us in quite a bit of danger as we are on our last life and it's turn 12 with only six wins we still have to win a little bit more but getting a level two shoe bill here is absolutely amazing and we're already getting closer and closer to that level two velociraptor which will be very good because then we will have a lot higher chance of hitting the cassowary. Thankfully, in some of these games, we do hit it on the cassowary, which basically all but means that we are guaranteed to win that round. So, very nice to see that. Um, honestly, I put Velociraptor in the front as like a sort of uh, pepper breaker, because there's no melons in pack two, or um, pack three rather, expansion pack two. However, I probably should have just had Shoebill in the front if I was doing that. Uh, but sometimes it works out like here we have the um, the Velociraptor take out the front unit and and then uh, Cassowary can clean up the rest. But it didn't really matter, I don't think. We, we already had a big puffin in the back too. All we're really looking for is the last Velociraptor. And I freeze the strawberry anyway, but there's no way that I'm putting it on Shoebill. I'm not going to risk my coconut going to a measly shoe bill that won't even get buffed by anything i guess the actually pelican could buff it so i was wrong about that but i don't think that that it'd be that good it's much better to have uh, as many chances to get it on the cassowary as possible oh boy i love hearing that coconut pop it's so good getting a level three puffin is beautiful here on uh, round 15, nine wins, that could seal the deal for us. And there ain't nothing left to do but buy this cassowary. As you can see, there's there's no, not a whole lot of thinking. It's just a lot of doing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Try this out for yourself. It's It was really fun, so see what you can do. But like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a fantastic day.